Romeo Quara has started practicing. Let's Talk Lions. Welcome back to an all new episode here at Let's Talk Lions. My name is Jay. Thank you for hanging out, for liking the video, subbing if you're a Lions fan indeed. Well, good news finally striking in our corner in relation to the injury bug that has plagued Detroit. Our edge rusher, Romeo Quara, is officially practicing that is huge it was last year week four uh, that he suffered the achilles tear I, I, be, I believe it was week four against baltimore uh, when he suffers the tear uh, since then he has been rehabbing and has finally been cleared to practice last year okwara suffered the achilles injury i believe it was against baltimore uh, week four where he tears the achilles he has been out since then and something that i've been super excited for and about is seeing him out there with Aiden Hutchinson, Josh Pascal, these young guys, and the terror that he's going to be with them. Now, granted, coming off the Achilles injury, it might take a little bit of time. We might not see him until after Thanksgiving would be my guess, which I believe would be the Jags coming back would probably be the earliest that we see him, especially if this is him starting out practicing. However, he has been activated. You're looking at a 21-day period where the Lions can have him. He does not affect the 53-man active roster at this point. He's technically still on the pup. And in this time, he's able to practice. Lions are able to evaluate him. And if he's good to go, they can then move him up to the active roster. And we see him out there. When he is back on the field, we know how good he is. That's why we paid him. That is what has been so exciting, man. Last year, him going down early killed us, killed our D-line. And so now having him back in addition with where Hutch is at now and how much he has progressed, Man, that is going to liven up our line. That is going to be a huge boost for the Lions, for our defense as a whole. Getting Romeo Aquara back. And it's funny because I'm literally driving home from work today and I'm thinking, I'm like, oh my God, when are we going to see Romeo Aquara back out there? When do we get Aquara back? And then getting home, seeing the news, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe I should just wonder about these things more and maybe the Lord will bless us here in Detroit. But that is the news. It is good news. This is something to look forward to because Okwara is a huge key piece to our defense, to the D-line. And so to be able to get him back now in a position where, as crazy as it sounds, we're on the bubble, but really seeing him in addition with Hutch, with Pascal, Ali McNeil, these young guys that we have picked up uh, or year two, seeing them all actually coming together. I, it kind of reminds me of last year how, and even in the beginning of this year, never getting to see our O-line together. This O-line that we're like, man, this is a top five O-line. Didn't get to see him for way too long. And that's kind of the same feeling. Now knowing that we'll have Aquara back saying, okay, this is the defensive line that we are really building out. And Aquara is a huge piece to that puzzle. So that being said, that is the good news on this snowy day in michigan thank you for liking the video thank you for subbing to the channel and as always i'll catch you next time on let's talk lines